Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a teeny tiny Class C motorhome that's perfect, easy to drive, easy to park, and there's no slide outs. This is a 2023 Thor Geneva Model 22 VA. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Geneva and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited that we are taking a look at the all new 2023 Geneva. But before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everyone! How's it going today? It's going good you guys. I'm so excited. I love the Genevas and Matt, I've never seen this floor plan before. Well we did at the Tampa show, oh, we did. but we never reviewed it. And this is a 2023. How yes, exciting. Ma yes ma'am. It suit really is. Not only that, we do got a 2022 right there which is a few thousand dollars cheaper than this one. Um, potato, potato, you know what I'm saying? Andrea, let's begin. Model is Thor Geneva 22 VA. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet long. This is a Thor Geneva. This is uh, Thor's newest brand of motorhome and we sell these nationwide. Right up front here, we do have a nice uh, bunk over the cab. I love that front windshield there. Now, it's not the seamless fiberglass front cap. It does have the seam there. But again, with that molded cap and with the windshield, it's absolutely fantastic. This does sit on the E350 chassis. That means it does have the 7.3 uh, liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. That's 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Dre, and then the handcuffs. I love those. LT225-75R16 with the shiny rims right there. Right here we do have mirrors, white mirrors, left side and right side. There is no cameras on, there's no side cameras on this motorhome at all. Not in the mirrors or anything. I do like how these mirrors are a little bit more sturdy. In our motorhome, they're not this sturdy. Um, so check this out, this has a little screw here which tightens it. So this is still the cheaper chassis, but it's a better screw mechanism. Ours has something like this, and it's just really, really weird. We do got running boards right there, very nice. And then coming on down the side here, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Because this is a Thor, it does have the 12 year structure warranty, six year lamination warranty, which is very nice. Nice grab handle right here. And then here is propane. And then Andrea, if we can get the specs right here, bing, so everybody can see who is watching on television. And then right there, do you know what that is, Andrea? That is to uh, leash down your dog. Leash up your fur babies, absolutely. Coming on down the side here, Andrea, look at this. This is going to be fantastic storage. Oh, wow. All right, all right, all right. Look at this. That is pretty good. Really nice storage. And again, if you're comparing this to a Class B motorhome, this storage is second to none. You do not get this on Class Bs. So that is an awesome feature to have. We have an electrical outlet right there. Yes, ma'am. Coming around the back, Andreo, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. I believe, yep, 8,000 pound hitch. Nice. Now, it doesn't mean you can tow 8,000 pounds. You're good with at least 5,000 pounds. If you do want to tow more than 5,000 pounds, know before you tow. Make sure you weigh your motorhome. And then we do have a backup camera right there integrated in the rear tail light. And Andrea, we forgot our U steps at home. But don't worry, this unit has a ladder. Wow. Let's go up there and take a look. I hope you did stretch. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. Wine guard digital antenna there. Right there, you got an AC unit. And then here, it is prepped for solar. Hold on, Matt. Here we go. Last step. Ugh. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Coming around to the driver's side. Here's where our black tank flush is. City water connection. Very nice. 
30 amp unit, single AC unit, unleaded fuel here. And then there, Andre, that's where you're dumping all your tanks. Your low point valve, sewer, just pull it out and dump it, baby. Right over here, outdoor shower. See, I love how they continue the decal here. I wish they would have done it right there. Right. Water heater right here, TV hookup. And then Andrea, right there, which is running right now, is the generator, or maybe it shut off. Our generator's running. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, the generator, which is an Onan 4000 generator. I like that it's vented. And then right here is potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Matt, don't forget the cargo carrying capacity. Oh, Check it's it out. Might be on the passenger door. All right. Oh, is there's no slides in here? Oh, wow, guys, look at this. This is nice. Really spacious for no slides. 2,493 pounds. That's pretty good. Awesome. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't even realize this didn't have slides in it. Right. And, Andrea, before we show everybody the inside, make sure you guys sign up for RV Life. Let's give them a big shout out. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, Fort Myers is doing it to us again. We are sweating like crazy and it's still super early in the morning. I don't understand Fort Myers. It's because we're further south. You know, like, Motorhome specialist, it's like that's hot, but like this is always just a different type of heat. Andrea, let's begin up front here in this cockpit area. This is very nice. This is the E series cockpit area. I love what they did with the seats, Andrea. Notice these upgraded seats. They're very nice. They're not just your generic cloth, it's like a leatherette that matches the dinette here. Right here, we got the 7.3 liter V8 steering wheel. Look at this, this motorhome's been averaging 9.9 .9 miles per gallon. Wow. Very fuel efficient for a motorhome. Cup holders here, and then this does have the upgraded screen where you're able to see uh, your Apple CarPlay, your Bluetooth, Sirius XM radio, and your backup camera. Well, hang on. Yeah, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Andrea, how do you feel right there? I feel comfortable. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I got plenty of leg space. Very nice. Um, at least I can move back. Yeah. You can't move back very much. I'm, I'm still good right though. Here. I'm still good. And then right here we do got the uh, sun visors here. Nice little light there. And then Andrea, guess how much fits in the bunk over the cab? 750 pounds. 800 <gasps> pounds, Miss Andrea. Oh, that's right. We're in a Thor. <laughs> yes. Right here we do got the insignia TV right there. That's on a swing arm. Right up there we do got your cup holders. I love this motorized Which shade I right do there. I like that, the natural light. And then right here, uh, safety netting if you put storage up here or you don't want your kids to fall. See, this would be really nice to have in our motorhome because nobody sleeps up there. Right. We, we, we use it for storage. Exactly. I yep. do see a privacy curtain and they do have that TV there on a swing arm. Yes. And Matt, we got a cubby over there with the USB. Yep, watch your step back there, but look up here. This is different. This is a GE air conditioning unit, non-ducted. Uh, I haven't seen anybody use this air conditioning unit again that's probably because the shortages people are running out of stuff 
And then up here is the nice cabinetry. You guys know we love Thor cabinetry. And the Geneva in particular, it's just a nice... It's just a nice color. Light gray tone. Yeah. Right here, we do got nice lights and everything. I do see speakers there as well. And then right here, it's the valances. Um, I'm going to approve them, I think, because, do you it. know... Do it. Approve. Bing. Very nice. I mean, I think I, I said they were okay before. Yeah. Yeah. They're not my favorite, but they're okay. They're not failing, but they're not No, passing. exactly. And maybe they're at like 51%, so that's approved. I like them. I call them firework uh They do diamonds. like fireworks. Yep. Right here, this is very nice. A nice slow rise shade. And then here in the dinette, Andrea, very nice and comfortable. Traditional so booth dinette. If we switch sides, right here uh, is a car seat tether. There's a little bit of storage. This dinette. It does drop down to make a bed, which is very nice. Cup holders and a wireless phone charger built in the dinette right there. I like this because it's like, you know, what you see is what you get. There's it, no surprises. There's no, you know, bells and whistles. It exactly. It's the way it is when you're driving, when you're camping, when you're parking, everywhere. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $123,435. <laughs> MSRP. Andrea, sale price. I'm going to I'm gonna say it. You know why? Say it and don't spray it. Sale price, this unit, this unit is $99,995, Andrea. Wow. That's a good sale price. But there's something that I need to tell everybody. That is for VIN number four one three two nine if you're watching this video a month from now six months from now a year from now and it's not stock number four one three two nine you cannot say well matt said it was ninety nine thousand dollars <laughs> it might still be ninety nine thousand dollars but it might not be the only one that is is this one but andre if you guys are interested in this motorhome please go to our website mattsrvreviews.com fill out that contact tab we're gonna make sure no matter what, no matter what the MSRP is or the sale price is, we're going to make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, show us the kitchen. Okay, Matt, I'm going to come over here, though, because we missed this cabinet. Okay. All right. And we've got a nice frosted cabinet right here with adjustable shelves. Very nice. Okay. I do see they gave you a window here. All right. The shade. We have a little sink with an extension. Okay. Not a lot of counter space, but that's okay because they gave you this. Yes, nice flip up counter. Flush. And then here's some of your lights and controls and everything there. All right, so for sponges, and then we got three drawers. One, two, a big and drawer three. drawer down here. And then over here we have another cabinet. And you got that. And yes. then we have the convection microwave. Very nice. We have a three burner Furion propane cooktop. Okay. And an oven. Oh, wow. very nice. An oven. And then we got a nice drawer here. Yes. And then over here, it looks like we have a two way refrigerator. Nope. It's just a compressor fridge. Oh my goodness. I have been out of it for way too long. <laughs> it's a Norcal. And these get cold pretty fast, which is really nice. They do a great job. And then down here, okay, this is good. You got, oh, a trash can. Hey, that's a $157 trash wow. can. Wow, 157 now? It's gone up. Wow. Guys, hey, we don't <laughs> we don't set the inflation, they do. Okay, over here, it looks like, you know, we have um, ooh, a wardrobe. I would have liked yes. to see that split up. Over there's your ladder for the bunk. And then we have another drawer down here. Very nice. And then Andrea. Yes. Into corner the bedroom. Bed. Corner bed. Okay. It is what it is. It's not bad. You got windows all the way around. Nice cabinets above. Plenty yes. of storage. You even got a little cubby there. Yep. That's very cute. And USB there. Privacy curtain right here. And do you see, do you not see any I didn't, TV coax? I didn't. Very I unique. looked for it. Yeah. And then right over here, more storage. Nice little corner bed, Andrea. It gets the job done. It's mission accomplished. And then here, um, for this bed, it's 500 pounds. Oh, wow. Just so people know. Okay. And it's not, not designed for sleeping while in motion. 
<laughs> we don't do that either, do we? On no. Oh, Definitely right. not, Matt. And then coming on into the bathroom. Okay. Pretty nice looking. Decent size shower. Yep. Okay, kind of a little, uh, a big step up there. Yeah, it's it's a 24 by 36. It gets the job done. I, I like the nice glass door, how it looks and everything. Nice big uh, dome right there. And then what do you got there? We got a medicine cabinet right here. All right. Okay, good sink and a cabinet down there. Very nice. All right, Matt, let's see what the toilet is. All right, it's is. now time for the toilet test. Oh, but hang on. Oh, it's a doggy bowl? Oh I, my gosh! I want Yuna to eat where we shower. I love how Thor loves their pets. Yeah, but that's a dumb position. It is, but I mean, where else would you put it in here? Maybe over there, but there's probably something in there. Porcelain. Porc it's porcelain, but Andrea, this is not a prime poofing position. Womp, 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 womp. Thank you to everybody who did buy a Gimme Porcelain or Gimme Death t-shirt. I see on Facebook that um, people are starting to get them. If you guys bought a Give Me Porcelain or Give Me Death shirt, go to our Facebook group. It's called Club Art Deco on Facebook. Join and post a picture of you wearing the shirt. We appreciate everybody yes, who bought thank it. thank you guys. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, you know what time it is. It's time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it, Andrea. What do we do first? Wow. Um, I'm gonna say three things that we dislike about it. I got two right off the bat. You go first. Andrea, first thing, I do not like the dog hole there. It made it a big step up to the shower, which was unnecessary. Not only that, the dog's not gonna eat there. Like, I I get that Thor likes putting those in in all their models, but you can't put it in this model. It's just too small. Okay. That's number one. Number two, Andrea, I don't like how there's no hookup for a TV over here like it's I, not prepped for it and yeah they don't need to yeah. give you a tv i get that but there should at least be a coax or, or power or something for you to hook up your own tv that's just something else that i'm not super fan of okay andrea that's number two and then do you have a number third i do talk to me okay so i do notice there's not a pantry in here and i guess you know it's not that big of a deal because there's all these cabinets but i would would like to really see it like half of it for a pantry with oh shelves. with shelves yeah yeah, yeah that, that's smart yeah that that's so big that it, it is yep right. it's it's almost a bad thing how big it was andrea that's three things we don't like about it now it's time for three things we love about it if you don't mind can i go first sure bonk over the cab i love how it holds 800 pounds i love how much space is up here and i love how you have the front windshield all through all all of that is freaking fantabulous and I think they do a great job. That is number one. Andre, number two. I like how this has no slides. Yeah. But at the same time, it's pretty spacious. It really is, especially I mean, if you compare it to yeah, a class like I said, B. There's no surprises. Yep. You know, what you see is what you get. I love that too. And then Andrea, that's number two. And then here's what I will say. I'm gonna say something a little different because a lot of times we say a lot of the same stuff. And you know what? It would be nice to think outside of the box. Sure. Outside of the RV every once in a while. I'm gonna say the dinette. I think it looks good. I like how it drops down. Storage underneath, uh, car seat tether, cup holders, and a wireless USB charger, or a wireless cell phone charger. All in all, great features, and I love that about the Geneva as well. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys are trying to buy this motorhome, the 23 or that 22, that's a little bit cheaper. Um, if you guys are trying to buy the motorhome or any motorhome, make sure you go to our website. It is mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out that contact tab. We're going to make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, anything you want to say? Yes. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Thor does read the comments, and they do watch the videos, so they, they are interested in your feedback. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.